bugs got me good last night. taking something tomorrow or Saturday but if the rates haven't come up from what they've been trying to push today I mean I'll be prepared to set into into Monday where I would expect the rates to be a little bit improved I mean I'm already already going to be down to 20 hours left on my drive time which limits me on some loads for Monday deliveries out of here because I just simply do not have the hours for some of the loads that have Monday morning deliveries. Uh, a lot of loads deliver Tuesday, and plenty of time for those. I start picking up hours again on Monday. But come Monday, I would have fresh hours. I don't want to wait that long, but I will if I have to. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take out it, take off out of here with a load going 2,000 miles to Michigan for $1.18 a mile. Just not going to do it. I'll... It aggravates me so much, I just about go home first. But I'm not complaining. It just kind of is what it is. I got myself into a bind now because of the load that got rescheduled on me. So we'll make the best of it. I'll be working hard on the boards tomorrow scrambling until I get a hold of something. I mean, I know something will come up. There's even even Uber Freight, as much as I don't want to do that, they're even moving loads at over $2 a mile out of here going all the way to Georgia. But uh, they, they make me a little nervous. And those loads don't pick up till tomorrow night, which I'll be starting my day at 6 o'clock in the morning and 
don't really want to be working at 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow night and still be loaded and trying to get out of town. And that just makes for too long of a day. So I'm trying to find something where I don't have to deadhead into Phoenix. I'm trying to find something here in the Tucson area. Maybe Nogales. Maybe, you know, Casa Grande, Eloy, something like that. Hoping I can find something within a fairly short distance. No guarantee that'll happen, but that's what I'll be trying for. And with that said, we just crossed from New Mexico into Arizona. Uh, about 125 miles from my delivery now. And I'm down to my last hour. I think I got about 45 minutes drive time left. So I'm going to try to get past the way station here in Arizona and park at the truck stop just past it. Call it a night there. I'll be within two hours of delivery. That's close enough. I can try to push it on over into Wilcox, but I'm not sure I would make it. I have to look at my clock and look at everything real close again. So easier just to park here and be done. I know there'll be somewhere to park. And the little I say the little truck stop, it's not really little. I'm not talking about the pilot, it's the one across the street from the pilot. It's got a lot of groceries and everything in there. They got steaks, fresh, all kinds of fresh meat, produce. They got a little bit of everything in there. They even got a hardware store, so not that I need a hardware store, it's just odd that they have one. Pretty much all you need there. So that's where I'm gonna call it a night. For now, I'm gonna try to get past the way station and I'll catch back up with you when we get there. Right, trucker path looked to be correct on that uh, show to start being reported closed at the way station about 10 minutes ago and sure enough they were closed when we came in or came by we didn't go in we just went by plenty cops in there but no trucks so I guess they're done for a little while maybe they're gonna open back up tonight who knows after one mile keep right and take the exit But we are now about to stop for the night at the truck stop. We have gone, by the time we pull in the parking lot, we will be over 630 miles for the day. So 630 today, 674 yesterday. A couple pretty good days. Especially for not driving fast. It'll be three days in a row finishing out with the computer showing 10 miles per gallon or more. And I'm usually actual miles per gallon. I'm usually just a hair better on paper than what it says on the computer. But I only calculate it at the end of every quarter. I keep track of all my fuel purchases. I just don't calculate them all until I have to do IFTA. So it'll be a while before I see what they were. I just monitor the computer reading and if things start looking off there then I might take a closer look to see if something's wrong but other than that as long as that looks good I just go on as if everything's all right and yeah you got a little pilot on the left here not a fan not, not that pilot specifically, but any pilot, so some people may like them. For me, I prefer to go in here. Somebody will try to park in that mud hole before the night's over, I guarantee it. Guess I could park by one of them trucks. It's not like more won't be doing the same thing tonight.
I've always parked in the front row in the past right here. Never went into the back. Don't really want to today. But I will. Looking at the distance between here and there, between that row of trucks and this row of trucks, I got a good feeling that people will start parking back here. So, last thing I want to do is get trapped over here. Never parked like this guy right here just parked. I wouldn't be able to go to sleep. Not for the noise of the trucks, but for the fear of something smacking my truck. Would not feel comfortable with that. Didn't want to have to do a sharp U-turn in the parking lot, so I'm going to just pull back out on the street and pull back in that spot over there. That is, if these people ever go. even better. It looks like the one guy left. done here all right folks that's a wrap for the night tomorrow morning we'll be getting up to go deliver we'll check back with you later